everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter. Okay, you guys are probably saying, what is that pile? Look at this pile of stuffs. What this is, it's a big, huge pile of scraps. Okay, and, and I just, I have so much of this stuff. I need to do something with it. So, you have asked me, um, it's every color, green, yellow, blues, reds, purples, um, it's all in here, browns, um, book text, okay, it's all in here. And what you, I've had a few of you do is ask me, how do I make these um, grab and glue books? These are all made just out of scraps. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, today how I put them together. They're very, very simple. Basically, I make a pile of scraps kind of in like sizes. Um, you know, some of them are not all the same size. These are going to be some bigger ones, which is fine. And I use all different kinds of paper in them, whether it's scrapbooking paper, music paper. Um, let's see what else we've got in this one. Uh, this is a uh, watercolor paper that I did some kind of a print on, more scrapbooking paper, um, some foiled paper, that's what's in that one. This one, a little bit of everything. Um, actually, this one I did not make. This one someone had, we were in a swap and someone had made this one and sent it to me. And again, there's jelly prints in here, there's notepad paper, which I didn't think to get that out. Uh, maps. You can use anything for these, okay? Old pieces of book text, um, jelly prints, paper. This is another one that I got from a swap. This was from quite a while ago um, on the, uh, I believe it was a Crazy Island family. We were doing swaps of this. This is just stuff that I, I've written in, played around with. So, same thing. Just whatever goodies you want to put in them. Here's one that I made. I have an old piece of a map here. And again, I've got just bits and scraps of pieces of stuff. This is an old jelly print that's glued down in there. Um, piece of scrapbook paper. A uh, piece of texture paper that I've glued in there. Just odds and ends. Okay, and it's not even the cover. doesn't even cover all of it. And that's no big deal. I don't care. Because I just use these for glue books. This one... I I made the book, but someone else made this cover, I'm pretty sure. That's not my cover, so I don't know who made the cover, but I'm pretty sure I made this book because it, this is all the paper I had in here. Okay, and again, it's just bits and scraps and pieces. So, enough about that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I make these. Now, the first thing I do is I get a bunch of my scraps out, and this is a bunch of my scraps, okay? And then I just start picking pieces and folding them. Perfect. Okay. And let's see. This one's textured. This one's got to be cut down a little bit because I don't want to book that big. So I'm not worried about it. I'm just randomly cutting it. I'm going to stick it. So this is going to be a tall one. So what I do is I just start making these piles of these papers that I think will go together. Okay, this one's going to have to be a different one. So here's one we're going to start. Here's one pile. We're going to start one that's that way. This is the same. It'll go in that, so I'm going to do a different book. All right, so here's another one. And what I start doing is, let's see, how are we going to do this one? This might be there. We'll do that here. Okay. And I will just start picking bits and pieces and pulling them out and putting them in this book. Let's make a little one. Here's a little one. That's a great cover for a little one. Okay, let's put this one right about here. And again, I just start putting this stuff together. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to put this on the outside just because it's got texture on it. It really doesn't matter um, that they're straight. It doesn't matter if they are crooked none of that matters because it's just going to be a glue and stick book and i will be right back because my do do yeah, doorbell is ringing be right back sorry about that it was nothing all right so 
like I said, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter um, the size, the like this one. Okay, no big deal. That one's sticking out. It's all right. A little piece. Let's see. And I try to just kind of pick a variety. I don't really care about um, what color, what texture. It doesn't matter because these are just grab and glue books. There's another one. Take this one. I'll put this right here. Some of these I end up getting a little bit longer, and that's okay. Um, some of them I'll just cut. That one looks good there. That one looks good there. Let's take another one. This one looks good there. Don't mind my mess over here. Got a bunch of crap on my desk. Um, this is a cool one. All right, we're not worried about if it's upside down or right side up. Doesn't matter. That one will go there. See, this even has a hole in it. It's okay. All right? And again, these are, these are, um, this is another just small way to use, do the grab and glue. That one looks good there. Um, I'm going to take some papers. What else we got in here? This is a notebook somebody wrote on oh, that's neat put that in there and then what i do once i get these piles together which I'm, i've got a lot of stuff here that i want to get made into these so it's going to take me a bit um but once i get these piles together then i'm going to show you how i am going to bind them so let me uh, shut my camera off find my desk i'm going to get my different books in piles and then I'll come back and I'll show you how I bind them real quick and easy. It's very simple. So I'll be back. All right. So basically what I did is I went through all the scraps that I had piled here on the desk. And I kind of put them in two piles that are mm, kind of like sizes. They're not all exactly the same, which is no big deal. And what I'm going to do now is now when I, is when I actually bring the journals together. So I'm going to start out with the small ones. This is a kind of a medium size here's a bigger size and I have a couple different piles of this size so first thing I do I'm going to start out here and now I'm not going to put everything together just the way I laid them down because it's pretty much all in colors so oh that's cool so let's make that into the cover all right now I'm going to add into here just pieces that I think would go in here that would look pretty cool and it really doesn't matter it doesn't matter how you put these in um, just as long as you make yourself a little book and I'll show you how I do it there's one two three four five one two three four plus the cover I usually do um, I like to do ten pages there's five well, let's see six seven Oh, look good. Eight. Doesn't matter. Nine. And I was going to do that as a cover, which I can still do that as a cover. I didn't have any book text, did I? All right, this will work. Ten. All right, so I've got those. So this is step two. All right, we got all our scraps out, put them kind of in like sizes, and here is step two. So I'm going to bend that over. And this is going to be the journal. Now notice there's paper sticking out above the out the side, up the top. It doesn't matter. It's okay. They can stick out like that. Okay. This is just a grab and glue book. All right. So there's one. So I'm just going to set that aside. And I'm going to do it again. I wanted to use this as a cover. So let's use that. So there's one, two, three. Four. That's quite big. You know what? This one's going to go into that one. That was too big. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yep, that's even got holes in it. That's okay. We're going to use it. Eight. I'm going to put this in here. Nine. Now, I'm only going to do nine because this one's quite thick, especially since I just put that cardboard in the middle. See it? So that's okay. So there's nine pages. There's another one. Two. And I'm going to continue doing this with all of the books until I have all of my scraps used up. 
One, two, three, four, five. I don't like that one. <laughs> Six. And here I, here I am saying, nah, I don't like that one. I don't. And you know what? I don't have to use it. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> That'll work. Nine. And let's do that one. Ten. All right. Same thing. I'm just going to fold it. And there we go. We have another little grab and glue journal. Now when I start to, I'll show you what I'm going to do with these once I start sewing them together. So just out of those little scraps, here's three and I probably could do at least one more out of these scraps. So here's three little grab and glue journals. Alright, so there's one, two, three, this one's all glitter, and that's just a pain in the butt to glue on, so I'm not going to use that. This one has a little texture paste on it, so let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. I have two little pieces, so I might fit one more in here. This one's going to have eleven on it. And we're going to just fold it. So let me go ahead. I'm going to make up some more. And these two I'm not going to use. All right. And so I end up having very little left um, scraps left over. But let's go ahead and get some more made. And I will be back. All right, guys. Here's where the fun part comes in. Now, <laughs> i got a mess here. Um, there are many different things that you can use to um, bind your junk journals. You can use just plain string. This is just a, uh, you can use hemp cord, which whenever I see it on clearance, I pick it up because as you can tell, I don't have enough. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Something, I don't know, something I was making and I wanted directions to. There's satin cord that you can use. Um, this is leather cord, which I don't need it in that great big packet in there. So that's going bye-bye. Um, leather cord that you can use. Of course, there's also binder's thread. This is from the actual, to make um, a book, a book book and put it together. There's binder's thread. Um, this is a linen thread. But I tend to keep going back to my original stuff. Let's see what else do I have in here. This is... Um, cotton braiding cord. You can use that. Uh, that's actually book tape. We don't need to use that here. But I always go back to these. I really enjoy using um, these cords. Here's one of them. Um, this cord is, um, it's actually a beading. No, it's a hemp cord. It's just a pain in the butt. Um, and of course, here's some scraps. I don't know what this is. Something I got for 50 cents. Some type of a real strong cord. But anyways, what I'm going to go to is I'm going to start out with um, just a piece I had left over. This is from one of my other ones. Now, I need to get my needles. And I thought my needles were in here, and they're not. So, ta-da! There they are. All right, here are my needles. And I actually have more needles I need to put into here. So um, this is my needles. And I do have a circle one. I wasn't sure if I had one, hence why I bought another pair, but whatever. All right, another pair, another pe another one. So what I'm gonna do is you gotta get a needle that's got a big enough um, eye on it to put this cord through. Um, some of them are rougher than others. Sometimes I just have to play with it until I get the cord through. Um, let me just get this in here. And you really don't need a whole lot of cord for this. I'm just going to make sure it's all in here. And it's not. Some of it's in. Some of it's not. So let's make sure we get all three strands in there. Alright, there we go. Now it's all in. Okay, so, and you don't need a whole lot. This piece right here will do a couple um, different journals. So, I've got my needle, I've got my thread. Here's the rest of this that I'm going to use. 
And I have my board here that I'm going to be poking holes into. And I'm going to start out just with one of the medium journals. I got it set here to the side. So I've got my piles of paper. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can just fold it as is. I don't like to do that. I take what I'm going to use as my cover. I guess I'm going to use this as my cover. And I will bend it in half. Okay. So there's my cover. I, the only reason I use this board, to be honest with you, is just to take things, put it up the edge, and bend them in half. And again, this one's cockeyed, doesn't matter, but at least I have a crease in it. Now what I'll do is, as I build these, I will sit and I'll either, you know, if I have two short pieces, I'll kitty corner them, or put one up top, one down to the bottom, um, and I just try to build my book, all right? It's really, there's nothing hard to it. Um, it's very simple. See, sometimes I don't even use that container, so I'm going to do it this way for this thing, the scoreboard. Okay, there's three. Now, see, these don't, these don't have to be, you know, one right after the other like that. They don't have to be. I can put one up, put one down. That's fine. Okay. Here's a skinny piece. All right. That does not necessarily have to be in the middle. Now just keep in mind that we're going to be doing two holes in this. And if it's not, if you put it in the middle, you're not going to catch it with the needle and the thread. Okay? Because I'm only doing these with two holes. So we, it has to either be up at the top or down at the bottom. Closer to the bottom, I should say. We're going to take this one. We're going to put this one right here. We're going to take this piece. Okay. And again, you don't have to um, have them in any specific order. Uh, this piece, we're just going to... See, it's not even straight. You know, it's not right up to the edge. It doesn't need to be. And we're going to flip it over. Now, just remember, as you're building this, like here, I have whites together. That's okay. I have an orange and a green together. It doesn't matter. These are just glue and stick journals. I got this real tall piece. I'm just going to do that to it. That's going to go in there. These pieces, um, when you get real glittery, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's all full of glitter. They're kind of hard to put, um, to glue pieces to because a lot of times the glue won't stick unless you use something like um, an Aileen's Tacky Glue. So just keep that in mind. And then here's a piece of newspaper, and I'm going to put the piece of newspaper right here. So now I've got them pretty much set up. It doesn't matter. I, I keep saying that because I know there's so many people out there, oh my God, but it's not straight. It doesn't matter. You guys asked me how I made them. This is how I make them. So um, like I said, it's not all straight. They're not all perfect. I don't care. The biggest thing I need to do now is make sure that I can get two holes in here. That's where this comes in, and this tool. This is called an awl, okay? If you're going to make any kind of journals, this is some, it's a, it's a must-have, all right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make two holes. I'm not measuring it. I'm just sticking it, all right? So I've did one hole right here. Did. I have did. Boy, I, I sound intelligent, don't I? <laughs> I've put one hole there and I've put one hole here. Now I'm still holding on to it because I don't want um, I don't want to unline those holes up. I'm just going to go down through the first hole, leave myself a tail. I'm going to come up through the second hole. Sometimes you have to push it a little bit to get the bigger um, eye of the needle through it. Okay. And there we go. Now I'm just going to tie this off. I'm going to tie it in a knot. Come on, you. My fingers don't want to work today. Gosh, I feel so much better than I have been. Oh, my back has been just not happy between my back and my knee. And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, hang on a second. You know what it is? My fingers are cold. I don't know why, but when I do this stuff, my fingers get really cold. Anyways, um, so I'm just going <laughs> to... You darn thing. You're going to tie a knot. <laughs> you get the drift, right? <laughs> there we go. Okay. So I'm just going to tie a knot there. I'm going to cut this string off. 
I'm going to squish it together. Squish, 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 and bingo. There is a um, grab and glue journal. So let me do a couple more just so that you, and what I'll do is I'll take these and I'll put them in like um, between books and just make sure they're really flat so that they'll stay really flat. Let me do a little one. Got a little one over here. Okay. Same thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crease my, my cover. And one thing you can remember on this is you don't have to have, it doesn't have to be a real hard piece of cardstock. You know, this is a harder kind of cardstock. This is actually off packaging of probably a Dilutions product that I had purchased. Okay, I'm going to make sure that these are all, you do want to fold them um, to give them a crease. It just makes it easier to build your, um, your book and it makes it easier to bind it as well. So make sure they do have a crease. You can use a bone folder for this and just make sure that, see I use mine for lots of things, it's all dirty. Um, just make sure that you have a crease there. Now see this one, this one's only going to have a little piece there and a bigger piece there. That's alright. That's purple, I don't want to put that purple together. Alright, let me do this one. Here's a piece of brown. Again, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that it's got a crease in it. Okay, and then we've got a couple of red here. Let's take this one. Just going to put a crease in it. I'm gonna take this one, put a crease in it. Okay, and it, they're not straight. It's okay. I just know there's going to be people out there saying, oh my God, she didn't make them straight. Oh my God. And, you know... If, if you choose to make your your um, grab and glue all straight, and yeah, go for it. Me, no. It's just a place for me to play when I feel like it. So we're going to put that there. We're going to stick this one here on the back side because I have a short one there. So let's see. This one is going to go right here. All right. And here we go. We have a mini book. Okay, so the same thing, I'm going to take the all, and I'm just going to go somewhere near the top. Okay, no big deal. Be careful with this thing. This thing will hurt you. I know, I've poked my finger with it, and it hurts. Alright, same thing, I'm going to go down through the hole. Leave myself a little tail. Go back up through the hole. Tie a knot, and voila. Now I'm going to do a bigger one too because we're going to have to do three on the bigger one. So I'll show you how I do that. So I'm going to take this and tie a knot. Mm. Hold on. Hold on. So my grandbaby says, hold on grandma, hold on. You would think she was a redneck or something. Um, there we go. She says, hold on. She's so funny. All right, there we go. Another grab and glue. Okay. So I got a couple of them here, and I have enough to make probably 15, 15 to 20 here. All right, let's do a big one so I can show you. Uh, these are all small or mediums. Uh, this is a medium. medium. Oops, two mediums. There's one. There's another. Alright, we're getting into the bigger ones now. Okay, here's a bigger one. Alright, same exact principle. Okay, I'm going to use that for the cover. It's already got a crease in it. Good job. Perfect cover. Alright, and here is all of our papers. So, zoom to the side here. All right, I'm just going to start folding these. Again, it does not matter. Um, just I just want them so that they have a crease in them. Okay, 
this is a heavier cardstock, so I'll use this. Heavier cardstock is a lot harder to get your creases into, so that's where the bone folder does come in handy. There's a piece of very old cookbook. Easy brownie ice cream cake. Mousse. Hmm. Dessert. Alright, here's another one. Put that here. There's another one. Okay, this is actually um, a dollar store gift bag. And what I did for a while there, I was buying them and bringing them home and tearing them apart. Just so I could use them in uh, junk journals and stuff. Another piece of paper. Throw that one down. Let's take that one this way. Now, again, there's no rhyme or reason as to which way they go. I don't worry about it because, again, I'm just going to cover them up. So, this is just a great place to play around in a journal and not um, have to worry about it. All right, so there they are. Now, this one I said I'm going to do three holes on. So, what we're going to do. I need a different piece of string. That's not going to work for that one. So I always try to get this set up first because once I poke those holes, um, it's not big enough either. Uh, once I poke those holes, I don't want to let go of this book. I want to keep it just the way it is so that um, you know I can I can sew the holes the way they are. All right, that's a big enough piece. It's actually too much, but that's okay. All right, so here we go. We're gonna look at, oops, we're gonna look at the book, and I'm gonna line things up so that I know they're either they're gonna try to catch at least two holes. Sometimes on books like this, if you have a small piece, you just have to make sure you don't get the very edge of it, or it will come out. Okay, so these all have quite large pieces, which is okay. So I've got my middle. All right, let's take these. We're just gonna spread them out. Let's spread this one out a little bit, top and bottom. We'll leave that one in the middle. Let's put this one down toward the bottom. Let's put this one up toward the top. Fine and fine. So there we go. All right, so now I'm going to do three holes. I'm going to do one up here. Okay, I'm not measuring. I'm going to do one kind of in the middle. And I'm going to do one toward the bottom. All right, so see, I've got three holes there. Now I gotta think how this goes. Out, in, out, in, okay. So we're gonna go out through the middle. Gonna leave a tail. Okay, we're gonna come back up one side, or let's say the top. Just make sure you leave yourself a tail, okay. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom and go back out. Okay. And then you're going to come back in the middle one where you've already been. Sometimes this one's kind of hard because things like to move. So sometimes it takes a little bit to get this one back up in there. That one actually went pretty easy. And we're going to pull it back up. All right. Same thing, we're going to tie ourselves a knot. There's one. And we're going to double knot this one. Come on. Bingo. And we're going to cut off our tail. There you go. You have another grab and glue journal. Very simple. Very, very simple. Things are not, you know, straight. They're not upside down or right side up. Doesn't really matter. They're just, it's just another grab and glue journal. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish making these because I have lots here to make. But what I have showed, what I have shown you is a large, a medium, and a small. And I have shown you how I put them together and then how I um, sew them into my little mini journals. All right. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the in the description block or I'm sorry, in the comment spot below. 
Um, I always reply to my comments and answer any questions I can. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned a little bit today. So as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. We'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, guys. So you want to see what I did with all that scrap paper? Look at all these yummy, yummy, yummy journals. Um, I put a couple of them in here that I'd had before, but um, here they are. Now, another thing that's really cool about this type of binding, and I, I wanted to show it to you, is let's say you're like, eh, I don't really like that as a cover. Voila! New cover. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So you can actually use this whichever way you want. I mean, and I put these, these funky cardboard things in there, and hey, why not? These came between some bowls that I had bought. They're the just the cardboard that they put in between the bowls. See, it looks like that. And, you know, you don't throw that stuff away. You gotta save it. So, anyways, here they are. This one's cute, tiny, very tiny. Just a few leftovers. Um, I used up all of that stack of paper with the exception of, I think, two pieces. Um, so, here they are. Here's all the... Let me see if I can do this. We got a few big ones. So really, all in all, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 6, 27, 28, 30, 32 little books out of nothing but scraps. So guess what? I think I need to get grabbing and gluing. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, as always, if you have any comments, please put them in the uh, box below. And you know, if there's anything you wanna see me do or anything you'd like, anything else you'd like me to share with you, um, you know, I have no problem doing requests. I had somebody ask me how to make these and here you go, that's how it's done. That one, the, that one, see this one? I didn't pull the string tight, but you know what that does? The way I feel about it is it just gives me more room to put bigger goodies in here. So I can just make it thicker because I have the room. But anyways, um, like I said, as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!